Hello everyone, it's March 26, 2012 and at 10.37pm UTC time on March 25 we had a 7.2, now downgraded to a 7.1 in Chile and I'll just click the map, Let's see what it looks like there so we're very close to the time of the quake, so we can see on these seismographs that it actually started in many places around the world and built into something bigger okay I can't feel any movement but as you can see these seismographs are getting blacker as the time progresses let's click on some of these Granada as you can see this will shock came and as time went by it got bigger and bigger okay it seems to be diminishing now okay here's some others this is the observatory in Chile at La Campanas okay it started large and got smaller but in other places you see that it actually started small and got larger okay, this is quite an unusual but um, seems to be what happens Okay, here's another one, Samoa. As you can see in Samoa, here's the initial shake, and then it builds and builds and builds into something more significant, and with a shorter period, but looks of it too. So we're a little bit early on this five and seven eighth day cycle. This is actually about five days and two hours since the earthquake in Indonesia and Mexico. However, the earthquakes in Indonesia and Mexico were perhaps late in that cycle, and this is perhaps on time. So let's have a quick look at that cycle again. So the earthquake happened on the 25th, so for on our chart it looks like it's a whole 24 hours early, and actually it's technically only a few hours early but like I say the Mexican earthquake might have actually been slightly late so we've got an interval here between February 26 and March 3rd of six days and then between March 3rd and March 9 is six days and then between March 9 and March 14 is five days and then between March 14 March 20 is six days again and then just by a whisker between March 20 and March 25 is only five days and hopefully nothing more is going to happen on the 26th okay thank you for watching